everybody, welcome back. I am Tammy Salamone, the Pink Survivor. I'm so excited to share with you our family favorite. It's our, our homemade granola. And it may be my own version of, you know, that big uh, box membership only type store. They used to sell a granola, but they stopped a while back. And I feel like this recipe is definitely the closest thing to it. And I know you're gonna love this granola. So let's go through the ingredients that you're going to need. You're gonna need one pound of rolled oats. You're gonna split that into two because we're going to grind these into an oat flour. You need about three cups of just some roasted unsalted nuts. Use whatever you like. And also about one to two cups of dried fruit. I've got dates and raisins here. You're going to need one cup of packed brown sugar a half a cup each of honey and maple syrup. So I've got both in here. One third cup of water, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one and a half cubes of butter, a half a teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So that's everything you're gonna need. So your first step is to heat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, I put some parchment paper onto a cookie sheet. Next, what you're gonna do is you're going to grind half of your rolled oats into your oat flour. So I'm using a blender here. You can use like a small food processor and we're gonna go ahead and this, this takes a couple of seconds. That's it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add my ground oats to my whole oats in the bowl. Next, what you're going to do is we're going to add in all of our nuts and our dried fruits. I'm using almonds, walnuts, and pecans, but you can use whatever your family prefers or likes best. We really like the taste of these three. And also I'm gonna use a little mixture here of some dates and some raisins. I've used um, craisins before as well, so that's up to your family's preference. And I'm also gonna add in the cinnamon and I'm gonna add in the brown sugar, and then we're gonna give this a good stir here. Kind of mix all of these ingredients up together. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to soften your butter in the microwave, which I already did. So I'm gonna pour that into this other bowl, and I'm gonna go ahead and add in the honey, the maple syrup, and the water, and I'm gonna put this in the microwave, and you'll have to kind of play around with it, because you want it to get to where it starts to bubble. So that will depend on the power of your microwave. Add in the water. And this is, this is my maple syrup and my honey already combined together. So I have one cup total in here. Get that all in there. And now I'm gonna pop this into the microwave. Okay, so this took just a little over a minute for my um, mixer to start bubbling. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my salt now and my vanilla. I'm gonna stir that up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour that over. There's the oven, it's ready at 350. I'm gonna pour that now and combine these all together. And then you're gonna let them just sit for about 10 minutes on, on the counter. And then you're gonna be putting it into your um, cookie tray that's lined with parchment paper. But first, let's do our next step here, which is going to be combining these two together and it's gonna look so delicious. You're gonna to wanna to start eating it already, but you can taste it, but it won't actually be done yet. Let me get all of this in here and show you guys what that looks like. So now we're just gonna combine all of these delicious ingredients together. Mm, doesn't that look good? Oh yeah, you can see it's looking really moist if it looked really dry for some reason, you can add a little bit more water into it. Just about got it. You can just check the, the bottom. Sometimes there'll be a little oats down there. It looks pretty good. Okay, look at that, you guys. Doesn't that look great? So this was the majority of your work is done now. And like I said, I'm gonna just kind of let this sit here for about 10 minutes. Then we're gonna put it into our cookie tray. Then we're gonna pop it into the oven. 
Okay, so the oven is warmed up to 350. I've got my cookie tray here lined with parchment paper. And remember, we let this sit for about 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna put all of our mixture onto the cookie tray. And what you wanna try and do is try and, you know, kind of evenly spread it out onto it. So you don't wanna have like one, one big clump and one part and then nothing on this side. And then this will make, I mean, this cookie tray here will be, you know, pretty full. So it's a decent amount. Doesn't that look delicious already? Looks so good. Let's get that spread out there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put this in the oven now for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then we're gonna check it and see what it looks like. Okay, so it's just got like this little light kind of golden brown look that's perfect. We're just gonna let it sit here, let it cool down for a bit. We're gonna break it up a little bit. We're gonna put it back in there for about 10 or 15 minutes and it's gonna be done. Okay, so it's been about 20 or 30 minutes. I kind of let it cool. It's not totally cool. But what you're gonna do is, you're just gonna kind of like, see how it's kind of into big pieces. I'm just gonna kind of break it up. It's still really soft at this point. And that's why you're kind of just breaking it up a bit and you're gonna put it back in for about 10 or 15 minutes. It's gonna get it a little more golden, a little more crunchy. Okay, so it was in there for about another 10 or 15 minutes and you can see it became a lot more golden brown. Now I'm gonna let this totally cool though before I break it up again and then you can store it into like a uh, airtight kind of container and it'll last for you for a couple weeks or you can also freeze it and enjoy it whenever you like. Okay, hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me and don't forget to like and subscribe so you're always aware when I put out a new video and I hope you guys enjoy this delicious homemade granola. See you guys next time.